God, the panic's coming back. I'm going crazy. Or inhumanly sane. My name is Ryan. I am the Deliverer. I am the Executioner. Hunter of the Seven. <laughs> Bark at me. Nah. <laughs> Ryan is merciful. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't think I've had this flavor text before. Standing in the center of the tree would be feel a strong power pounding the walls, the floors, and through the air. The room is made entirely of ancient stone, and at one end of the room pulsates the gateway of the dream web. Cool, let's talk to Mr. Keeper. Ryan, you have done well. Only two remain, but they are very strong. I can feel their strength. The two left are a priest named O'Rourke and a violent psychopath named Beckett. The priest has really? almost reached entropy. Entropy. He's almost reached order into chaos. He will use his power to transcend the boundaries of Earth. He seeks higher goals than the mere domination of the dream web. Can I reach him in time? Perhaps, but you must act quickly. You already know where he is. What if he has reached entropy? Then pursue Beckett. He is the last and most evil threat to the dream web. He holds the final key. Now you must hurry. Okay. Uh. Wait. He, he the last one? No, we've got two more. We've got O'Rourke and we've got uh, Dr. Samuel Beckett, who's Quantum Leap, will take him home. I can never remember that. Hoping in this last leap will be the leap home. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then you have to go down two tree. Yeah. Twice. One, two, then, uh, and left or right? Well, to left. Left. Go to. Yes, there's only one. Door. There's one door, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Use it. Okay. Walk to the plinth, examine the plinth, use the plinth with the key. And uh, as I say every time, James Sunderland. No, oh, oh well, we materialised back on the beach, and. Cool beach. And there's an imprint. That's why would there be an imprint? There would only be an imprint if we'd been laid there for ages. Um, I don't know why, but you did go back to your home. Go home, okay. That's weird. That What's this sign? Hold on. A weather-beaten sign has flaking white paint on it. You can just about make out. The words read, Danger! Polluted water! No swimming! You wonder if you swallowed any of that water. Well, quite possibly, Ryan. We've been there a while. But why would we have left an imprint if we just materialised it? That's so odd. Maybe it is on his head. I mean, the murders obviously aren't because they're on the news. But then again, is the mm. news still part of the unreliable narrator? Is any of this actually uh. happening? Uh, right, uh, sorry. Uh, Ryan's home or Eden's home? He got his house. His house. Did he put an order be there? 
Well, we need to check the news because we need to read up on our latest killings. Uh uh. You remember my pack, right? Yeah, I've got it all wrote down. Don't worry, this, this time I am. Uh, I am prepared. Unlike last time. Alright, Ryan, 5106. Blue cartridge, one I picked up at the thing, yep, yeah, okay. Walk to the interface. Examine the interface, open it. Fake out the red one. And we'll swap it for the beaten blue one. Okay. Use it. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. First off, I just want to read the news, so read news net. What did I type? Oh. Okay. How do I? This file name is not known. What did I do wrong? Oh, sorry. Okay. Headlines. So, is it read? It is. A massive police operation has been launched following the assassination of General Sterling on live television. Flight Security Channel 60. Oh, hold on. No, uh, this is last. Last. All right. So, our new murder, the murder of Sartain, and the murder of that woman haven't even hit the news yet. Check the check one more thing and then I'll get to the cartridge. Uh, read crime wave. Nah, this is the same as okay. All right, so there's they haven't yet reported on our latest murders. Fair enough. Uh, boot the PC and type log on Beckett and the password is Septimus. Okay. Mm. Okay, we're in. Uh, list cartridge. Read brief. To all members involved with the project, oh, it's Project 7. Please note that O'Rourke is now within his secret chamber at St. Timmons and now disturbed there. We believe that an assassin has been dispatched by the keepers. All project members must remain vigilant and, if possible, retreat to a place of safety. The Italian Steps. Now I remember where the church is. Note that O'Rourke's place of hiding is Septimus Church, located in the Italian Steps area of the city. May be used as refuge. Members of Project 7 must contact me to arrange this as required. Okay. Is that it? You have to name. Go to the church. Go to the Italian Steps, right. Let's go, Ryan.
Honestly, I don't know how I would have worked out that the password was Septimus, you know. Like, we've come across anything that would have uh, given us that information. Do you? Do you have that wrench? Do I, do I need the wrench? Yeah. Do you have it? No, I Where dropped it. I dropped it. Where did I drop it? No, I didn't think I'd need it. I did pick it up. But where did I drop it? Christ, if we need that wrench, we could have. This could be right. fucked. Because I don't have. I don't have the wrench. Okay, we will buy now. Go get that shirt. Yeah, but if I need that wrench and we haven't got the wrench, it's it's over because I don't think I can get to the area where I okay. dropped the wrench. Okay. It's fine, Jack. Maybe we can bar at the church. Alright, well we're at the church. Go to church. You have to open with the wrench. Yeah, I don't have the wrench. So it looks like we're done. Because mm -hmm. uh okay, let's try it. what happened? Okay. The wrought iron gate with thick bars about six inches apart. The paint is peeled and flaked off. The hinges look rusty. There is a chain connecting the two gates together. Ha! Didn't need the wrench. I got the wire cutters. Wait, I don't know why you did that. <sighs> that scared me. Right, don't look at me. No, no, the guide scared me. That guide, oh, it's great, okay. but at the same time, it gives me a conniption. Okay, right, we're in the church. Yeah, maybe. Okay, just go eat that the church. Yeah. You go in the bone. You damn people, bone. Yeah. There is a. Uh... Yeah. Hello. Yeah, great. What are the remains? On the floor is a pile of human remains, a rotting heap of cloth, presumably once a cloak covers some of the bone. Do you use it? Most remains seem brittle and quite useless. Okay. Huh? I don't know why, but you don't have to get the, the hand. Ah, oh, the hand, okay. Yeah. A the skeletal hand. hand with clean white bones. The hand has an index finger extended and the joints seem movable. So you want me to pick yeah. it up? And then you go push Arthur? Okay, hold on a sec. Arthur. Uh, see, now I'm concerned about what I should, should drop. Uh, I don't think don't we're going to need. Touch, we, touch. Right, we'll leave some evidence. No, we don't need that anymore. That can that can stay here. Right. Okay. What that? Okay. Bibles. Cushions. Okay. More cushions. And a font. Okay. Half a book. A font that rests on a single stone leg that is set into the floor. There is no water in the font, and from the state of the surface of the stone, it hasn't been used for years. How can we use it? There is no use for the font. Don't be stupid, Ryan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so we got some candlesticks and some cloth and the box yep. and a crucifix hey. covered in blood. Scripture stand. It's a new meeting. Jackie Kill. Jackie Kill. The candle and the cloud. 
take the candles and the cloth off the... Yeah. Okay. Examine candlestick. Heaven's candlestick that actually appears to be made of solid gold. It's heavily polished and extremely heavy. Pick it up and drop it. Pick it up and drop it. And examine the cloth. A white plate. A plain white piece of cloth about four feet squared when unfolded. Pick it up. Discard it. Oh, hello. Examine hole. In the top surface of the altar is a hole that looks almost the same size as a human hand. Use it with the, the skeleton hand. The hand slots neatly into the chunk with a clunk. Into the chunk with a clunk. Into the hole with a clunk. Fucking hell. I didn't read. Okay. Hmm. Um. A large altar carved from stone, the surface was worth the touch, and as you run your hands over it, you notice a draught of air where it meets the floor. Then use it. You give the altar a push. Oh, look, he's spouting his hands as well. He's getting in there. Go on, Ryan. Heave! This is really hard work. I'll put you back into it, Ryan. We've already killed, like, how many people have we killed at this point? God, we'd already killed five before we started tonight. And then we've killed another two. And then someone else got killed, so that makes three. So we've killed about eight people so far, Ryan. Okay, jump into the hole. Now you use the bow hand. Yeah, done that. You ready? Yeah. Oh, that was bad. Uh, you push. Yeah, so done that. Oh, you got it? Yeah. I'm behind. Okay. You got the light? You have the light? The what? A two-way box. Eh? No. Wait, 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 Back up now, back up now. Give the brother room. Oh, jump in the hole. Okay, jump in the hole. You reveal a small hole that looks like that's just wide enough for a man to squeeze through. The hole is framed with wood and cobbler's cover. Use it. Carefully lower Oh, he carefully lowers himself. He's no James Sunderland. He might kill people, but he's not going to throw himself into a dank hole. Oh, and he just threw himself in. Okay. Okay. Examine the jar. Walk to the stone slab. Examine stone tile. Okay. What's this jar? A jar made of clay that's about knee height. Is a that's about knee height. Yeah. This is a slit. There. Ugh. The is a. Shouldn't that be there? Is a slim opening in the. So this was, this was made by three British guys. This is, there is a slim opening in the top that is just big enough for you to fit a hand inside. There is a small clay lid covering the opening. Open it. Here we go. Oh, a gem. Okay, we'll take your gem. We'll place it there. Okay, I've got a gem. Let me guess. I put it on... on this stone plinth. Sand to the floor, you see a square stone tile with three circular holes in it. The holes are man made and they are identical. Use that. Okay. You carefully place the crystal into the first free slot in the tile, it fits neatly. Okay. Where are these other crystals? A small metal shelf that is fixed into the corner of the room metal bracket. Use it. The shelf is fixed fairly firmly to the wall and it's pretty useless anyway. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's see if we can... The stone slab is the lid of the tomb. Use it. Bracing yourself, you give the stone slab a heave. Rawr! Hey! Ryan! Oh, sorry. Mason! Ryan! Oh, I found the other two gems. Oh, a dagger! Do I need the dagger? Okay. Now, pick up all three. 
ตอนไหนพี่ทำตอนไหนแต่ชูเวบอ Pick up the two gems and the dagger. Yeah. Okay. You can see a few pieces of bone here. There are definitely some teeth here, and everything is covered in a thick layer of dust. You blow on the bones, and a cloud of dust mushrooms into the air. It makes you sneeze. Okay. So take the gem, small red gem that is translucent. If you hold it up to the light from the room above, find some energy. Oh, sorry. That. 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 Cool, and then that. 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 Oh no! You want me to pick up the dagger as well, don't you? A short dagger with a gold handle and a steel blade, which looks sharp. Well, we don't need the bottle of sewage water anymore, do we? So, <laughs> you don't need beer. I need beer. <laughs> no. Ryan needs beer. Oh shit! No, no, that is right. No, yeah. Use. Um, where is it? There it is. You place the third crystal into the stone tile, and as it slots into place, a pair of hidden doors swing open. Ah, awesome! 